pretty strong. All right. So D up. So if I can. Yeah. You can remember though to head towards the hip right here. Start climbing in towards his hip. I pretty much want to fall in place as opposed to falling over. So a lot of times this leg has to be somewhat structured so this leg can sit through. And then I'm using, you know, as that happens, I'm using my, my shoulder and head to pretty much turn like his belt would, up and around his belt. That'll topple the hips. And it's literally like, uh, when hips are like this, it'd be easier for double push me over here. He doesn't have that angle straight on with me like this. It's hard to get me over. So you actually can create that angle a little bit of a bump, just enough to get this through. Follow it, wrap up the arm, get a good bite. It's very important. You can even ask the guy to pull his arm out. Pull your arm out. And I'm really relaxed with that. As relaxed as I can get is how I want it. Because I don't want to waste any tension on this if I can just hold it like this. So relaxed. It's perfect. So from here, I start clawing in, lift up, turn him out, go across my chest so I'm stronger here as opposed to coming out from the open, and just ground that to the three arm block. All right? This armpit in the opposite side, just across the chest. Start climbing in. Keep going towards him. Not far enough through. Yeah, I mean, like, ultimately, like, uh, just in. Like, towards his head is good. Ground that elbow, though. Always pushing directly away from you can control the shoulder. So I'm here. I get to here like this, and a lot of times, see how heavy I am on this right side. Most of my body's out here. So sometimes, even when he's pulling his arm out or whatever, you follow that through. Look how I sit through the same way I did the other way. This time, my left leg sits through, right? Just sitting in base. And then my head climbs up over the hip the same way. And I start turning in on his shoulder to shoulder, sandwich to the floor. Cup his uh, forearm so he can't get out of the right angle. As opposed to like doing this or something, just step under it and then rotate your whole torso in on it. To sit through and your head rides my back. Right. Now the more you can pin this shoulder, the more stuck I'll be. Cup under the, the, uh, the hand with your left, right, and then just push up and roll your torso. Tap, tap. Finish. Good, that's good thing to do man. I can be like, as well, anytime you, you get this, sometimes you get your feet involved here. Anything like this, you can pull the guy over. Sometimes there's a knee bar right off the back, or OB. Pull him right to a knee bar. You can drag him anywhere from there. And then, you know, ultimately you want to just get to the guard. So uh, there's two triangles I like from here. One of them is just the knee coming through, climbing around until the foot spits out, and you just keep spinning. It's the same feel of the spin of getting to your knees. You just keep spinning in. And the other one is popping up here, cross foot, and then bring that in to get him here. And both of them have a great feel for spinning in. It certainly help when you're like playing guard and you sort of get stuck here and you start doing the same. So I'm here like this. If you can, you know, like allow the, uh, for John, like allow the guy to curl up because there is time for he'll get somewhat vertical so he doesn't deal with my knees coming in. Because if he hangs over in this, maybe I'm not pushing him up to my foot in there, but my knee can come in there and it's almost, you know, it's just bad. So sometimes the guy gets somewhat vertical and like will push on your feet and things like that. So you can come in through here, right? As soon as you get in through here, you're digging with this. The same thing I'm going to do with his hip. This leg stays high, putting my hip off the ground, using this, right? Foot goes to the hip, and now I start sort of helping out. I need to break him down. So the head, I'm doing a checklist, I get the head and the arm where I want it. Foot on the hip is very important. I'm pretty much in my base camp position where I can have him struggle and I can maintain this, all right? The foot on the hip is really key. You probably have a triangle that's very in tune maybe with all these things. But you gotta start adding the foot to control the rest of his body. You can start stacking me and things like that. It's not so good. So I can maintain the position longer using that. Also twist me in a little bit more. Hold the ankle. Loop through. Don't compromise being like this. All the way in, nothing. Alright? 
from here, sometimes you can do an extra adjustment. My knees are going to pinch. It's going to be the big one. Like that, you're going to tap just from that. So I hold the head in place. I don't necessarily pull it into me. I don't necessarily shoot my hips into the air. I keep this head in space and then just lock around it. All right?